We are on lesson seven, same perimeter, different area. Last time we did same area, different perimeter. So now we're doing the opposite. Before you go any further, please look at the learning goal and rate yourself. Circle your rating once you've done that. And let's get started. So draw two rectangles with the given perimeter. All right, so my perimeter is 24 inches. All right, so what I'm going to do is I know the perimeter is the length plus the width plus the length plus the width, right? So 24 is equal to length plus width plus length plus width, right? And remember, your lengths and widths have to be the same, all right? So you need two lengths, a length and a length, and two widths that are the same number that add up to 24. So let's try two and four, okay? So let's do my length is two and my width is four, all right? Because my lengths and widths have to be the same. So is 2 plus 4 plus 2 plus 4. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 plus 4 is 6. Well, 6 and 6 is 12. So that doesn't work. So my numbers need to be bigger. All right? Let's think of other numbers. Let's do 3 and 8. 3 plus 8. 3 plus 8. Because my lengths and widths have to be the same. 3 and 8 is 11. 3 and 8 is 11. So 11 plus 11 is 22. Whoop, almost there. So let's try another one. Let's try four and eight. Four plus eight is 12. Four plus eight is 12. So 12 and 12 is equal to 24. So one possible way I could do this would be eight by four inches. Now let's try another one. Let's try it when my width is one, one and one. So one and one is two. So I need two more numbers that will get me to 22 because one and one is two. Well, what about um, 11? One plus 11 plus one plus 11. That's equal to 24. Now you might see a pattern here. Four and eight is equal to 12. One and 11 is equal to 12. So the easy, an easy way to do this is um, if you take the perimeter and you divide it in half and find two numbers that equal that, you'll find the perimeter. So let's write that down. Take one half of the perimeter and then the next thing you're going to do is Find two numbers that add up to one half of the perimeter. And those two numbers will be your length and your width. Make sure you wrote that down in your notes because that will really help you. So let's try another one. Let's use our steps we used earlier. Take half of the perimeter. Well, 40, a half of that, or divide it by two. Let's see how many twos are in four. Two, multiply, subtract, bring down, divide, multiply, subtract. All right, so half of 40 is 20. So I need two numbers that add up to 20. Well, what about um, 15 and five? That would give you a perimeter of 40, because 15 plus 15 plus 5 plus 5 is equal to 40, right? So it would be 5 meters and 15 meters. Let's do another one. So again, two numbers to add up to 20. What about 2 and 18, right? So 2 plus 2 plus 18 plus 18, that would give you 40. Right? Let's try another one. So 20, remember our directions. Take half of the perimeter and find two numbers that add to that. So half of 20 would be 
when I half something, I'm dividing, right, because fractions are really division. Two, how many twos are in? Two, one. Multiply, subtract, bring down. How many twos are in? Zero, zero. Multiply, subtract, got nothing. So two numbers that add up to 10. Eight and two, those add up to 10. Eight plus eight plus two plus two, that's equal to 20, right? If I were to use the perimeter. Let's do another one. Numbers that add up to 10, one and nine. One plus one plus nine plus nine. That would give me a perimeter of 20 centimeters. Alex is building a rabbit pen with 25 feet of fence. What rectangle can, be, can he build that has the greatest possible area? Okay, well, his perimeter is 25. So I need four numbers that can add up to 25 because fence does perimeter, right? So I know that I could do numbers that add up to 25. Um, let's try, um, well, 25, we can't really divide that by two evenly because it's an odd number. So I'm going to have to go backwards and think of numbers that I can add that can get to 25. So let's do, um, five plus five, that'd be 10. I'd have 15 left. No, that wouldn't work. rectangle can you build as the greatest possible area? Um, let's do 2 plus 2 is 4. I get 21. That won't work. Um, 9, 9, that'd give me an odd number too. I think I'm going to change his fence feet. I'm going to make it 24. I'm going to make it a little bit easier on us. I might have typed that in wrong. So 24. So half of 24 is equal to 12, right? So 24, I would do 2 plus 10. That would give me an area of 20. That might work. Other numbers would be um, 9 plus 3. I'm going to just have to start over. 